Good morning. I'm good morning. How are you? Well, uh, this is obviously a very uh, unfortunate event uh, that a lot of folks are, are hurting around the world, and Hong Kong is no exception. Now, while a lot of the fintech the companies are also sort of struggling in terms of cash flow, uh, fundraising, now, but in some ways, we are also able to see the silver lining. So, when it comes to the adoption of digitization, somehow in the past few months, we have never seen such a big pickup of adoption uh, than ever before. As a financial center, you know, the stability is very important. And in many ways, despite a lot of the sort of the noises, the uncertainties around us, you know, Hong Kong is still charging ahead with great resilience. Hong Kong is a global financial market, global capital market. Hong Kong is a Asia uh, asset management center. For any fintech companies that we look into, we are looking in particular for several characteristics. One of course is always talent, that we need to look for the specific skill sets of any talents. Then number two, I think it's in terms of the fundamental business model, whether they possess a particular technology or innovative solution model. But I think number three is really about the long-term vision of the company. People always talk about convenience and infrastructure, but I think there's really three things that attract uh, fintech to Hong Kong. One is it's always been a big pool of savings and wealth here. Second, I would say there's been a big surge in the last few years of venture capital and private equity getting more active in this side of the market. And thirdly, if you're looking to exit here, this is probably the world's most uh, popular and one of the deepest capital markets for you to either do a trade sale or an IPO. So in effect, you've got money on the way in, you've got support on the way through, and you've got optionality on the way out. And that makes us very attractive for FinTech. FinTech's um, its benefit is good for anyone. It's a convenience for all the consumers or also the corporations. I would say fintech is not limited to financial institutions. We launch a, a jewelry insurance in Hong Kong and China, and then we use uh, also use blockchain to process all the applications. It's quite unique in the global. The first jewelry insurance selling to the consumers in 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 the region. We come across many bad situations. We always recover <laughs> based on historical data. I think Hong Kong people is good at adopt to new environment. We are quite positive after the COVID nineteen. Now, of course, I think the, the fintech companies do need help. I would highly encourage the fintech companies to participate in our fast track program, and that is a program in which we are able to connect the fintech companies to various uh, government support schemes. Actually, a total to 49 billion US dollars for the companies that basically make it to the final rounds of this uh, fast track program. Final we held uh, at the Hong Kong FinTech Week. We've been involved in FinTech Week uh, ever since the first year. This is a fantastic time for us to just get all the sort of attention on FinTech in one room. We are looking forward to see uh, more startups or, or related to FinTech. We need to promote or, or let them have an environment to do business. So why make money? So hope we can go up more big tech companies in Hong Kong around the world. We hope to helping those startups like that. We see that our role as a global strategic partner to be more like an ambassador, promoting fintech power, uh, innovations, and more international connectivity. And we are going to be amazingly enthusiastic in getting some of the best talents in fintech around the world. So stay tuned, and we hope to see you at the Hong Kong Fintech Week 2020.